All right, folks, let's get y'all caught up. Oh, got in here yesterday and, and underpinned the, the, all the way around, left a hole on both sides. I'm gonna still put some vents in there. And uh, really that's just to keep the rats from getting up under there and chewing those lines. I've got drains in the lines, so when the weather gets cold, uh, I can drain the lines and, uh, you know, when we leave, because we're not gonna stay here when it gets super cold, we're not gonna probably not even gonna be here. We'll be back home in Alabama. But uh, got it underpinned. Keep the critters out from under the house. Uh, may go back in there later on and spray foam those walls, you know, on the inside, you know, just to give it uh, a little bit extra insulation, you know, to keep the cold off of it. Oh, uh, starting on a little shed right here. I'm gonna put the generator in this uh, shed because that's what's gonna power this house and and have a little place to park the tractor, you know, still slip it in there too. But I uh, got those done, set last night. Oh. Uh, fighting these uh fighting these rocks let me tell you it's been unbelievable i tell you what, i've been yesterday i worked like a rented mule i mean they it was it was pretty tough but uh and it's hot but yeah i want to show you all this right here yesterday uh i had brought a table to cody to see if he could sell it anyway it's set in his barn for I don't know, probably two years, I don't know, a year or two, something like that. I don't can't remember. But anyway, it got uh, it had a lot of stuff piled on top of it, and you can see it it weathered it good. I mean, it was uh, it had I had to clean it up real good. But anyway, that's one I built a couple years back, and uh, I'm just gonna use it in here. I think it's gonna. Be a pretty good addition to the little cabin right there. I know I've been eating breakfast at it, and I ate uh, supper at it last night. So it, it, it's it's uh, it's nice to have a place to sit down and eat. But uh, I thought I'd get y'all caught up this morning. I'm about to get back at it. See if I can't get this little old pole, this little old barn shed out here done, and then uh, get started on something else. Hey, y'all, have a good one. All right, quick update, and I'm gonna get back at it. It's probably 2.30, I've been really getting at it. Oh, all of this metal I brought from the house, this is just some that I had left over, oh, jobs that I've done. Y'all probably see some YouTubes where I've been, you know, taking this stuff and pulling it out of houses and stuff. Oh, this is gonna, I'm gonna park the tractor right here. I'm gonna have two, two winches. One on both sides, that way we can skin two deer at the time, you know, just in case we're just really working on them up here, you know, got a, several folks killing them at the same time. Uh, thinking about putting a table right there, it depends on the width of the tractor, if I'm still gonna be able to get the tractor in here. I don't wanna jeopardize the, you know, the width of that. Oh, uh, buried this stuff in the ground to keep the pack rats. You know, I got that tin in the ground to keep the pack rats from getting in this building. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have the generator sitting right here. I'm fixing to insulate these walls right now in just a minute. Oh, I'm gonna insulate the door too. I'm gonna put a post right here. I'm gonna set a post right here to hold this door open. That'll direct that sound because you can't run the generator with this door closed. It'll just get too hot in there. But this will actually, you know, knock the sound out this way away from the house right here. So it'll be a little quieter. But uh, I think, you know, like I said, I'm gonna insulate the whole, uh, the whole inside right here. Probably gonna go ahead and finish decking that if I've got enough stuff. Deck that right there and keep my air compressor in here, you know, cause you always need an air compressor, pump up tires or whatever. But like I said, I have pieced this thing together and I think it's gonna be rat proof unless they dig under, you know. Oh, uh, propane, I'm gonna hook propane to this generator cause it's a dual fuel, you know, it, it can run off gas or propane so i'll just probably hook it to like a 250 gallon tank that way it can supply uh, you know gas to the uh, water heater inside the house and a uh, heater you know to heat the house and squeaky hinges you know those are extra but hey that right there will seal up tight you see that fit right there it'll be tight and i can lock it up when we leave i can put a padlock on it keep somebody you know keep the honest man honest anyway that way we won't be stealing generators and you know air compressors and stuff like that. So uh, now I'm fixing to get in here and get some insulation, start putting it up. I'll uh, see if I've got enough lumber to put on the floor 
and possibly a shelf right here if it's not too big. And I don't want, like I said, I, I want to be able to park the tractor right there. I don't want to get it sticking out too far. Anyhow, it's coming on. Oh, I went ahead and tripled that two by six right there just to make it a little bit stronger. Like I said, if you've got two deer there, you know, you're possibly having, you know, 500 pounds. I don't know, that's, that's probably not being realistic, but it's possible that you could have. I, I bet if we were at the house and I was killing, uh, skinning hogs off of it, you could have uh, 500 pounds up there anyway. Hey, y'all hang in there. We're going to get this bad boy done. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's finish the video up. You're going to have to excuse this mess over here on the side. I've still got to clean up. Oh, started this morning. Y'all saw it. Oh, I had four posts in the ground. Pieced everything together. All this stuff come from the house. Oh, this is another one of them. Oh, we're not trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. <laughs> Every bit of this stuff has been used. Got the generator in there running, and y'all, it is unbelievable how quiet, you know, how much difference that made right there. From, I mean, you couldn't, we couldn't sit here and talk. Well, I'll walk around there in a second and let you, uh, let you hear it. Anyway, it turned out pretty good. I went ahead and put that, put that brace right there because this wind up here is terrible. I mean, you know, just to keep it from, uh, if the wind ever does get into it, it's going to just suck it off. And I'm going to put a loop over the top and then a latch on the back just to loop the rope over, just to hold it, you know. Anyhow, it turned out pretty good. Now y'all watch this. I insulated the door and the walls. I, I got one one bay in the top that I didn't get insulated, but I run out. But everything else is insulated. Now watch this right here. y'all caught up on that right there that's one more project down and hope y'all are enjoying the videos appreciate y'all all right here we go got everything rigged up oh yesterday so finish up this little video right here i still got to put that together right there but uh tied me and i back in there and anyways it's looking pretty good i just wanted to finish the video up and show y'all did get propane yesterday got everything dug in got the uh water heater hooked up inside got a place you know got a valve in there for the uh for the heater oh got the the generator right here it is running on propane now so so got it running on propane it's a it's a uh, dual fuel it'll run on gas or propane but got it on running on propane it's just you know you got a 250 gallon tank and i ain't toting gas all the time and i think gas is a dollar 67 a gallon up here and uh or propane and then gas you know regular gasoline's like three dollars a gallon so it's gonna be cheaper cheaper to more efficient to run propane and the motor runs a little cooler too seems like it runs a lot cooler it may last a little longer anyway i wanted to finish the video up oh got a friend of mine out here he's got a skid steer and he just run it off the tracks a while ago so we had to that's what i've been doing out there i've been helping him get it get it back on the uh, track so he's trying to fill this hole in and move some of these big rocks around so we don't crush the water line coming into the uh, house oh, i had to pad the line and you know take soft dirt put over it or oh, pick it up you know and, and just you know and that way it's not up against rock or sitting on rock bottom and that way when you do if you do happen to drop a bigger rock in there it won't crush it or kink the line or cut it or whatever so we're trying to pad the line as we go so oh work in progress but i was going to put two of these pulleys you know these these cranks right here and do two deer at the time until i priced it you know, a little too pricey for two of them so we got one we're gonna clean one deer at the time it was just you know i mean i probably got 150 dollars in this the cable and the eyes and the pulleys and all that stuff right there so you know 300 dollars to clean two deer 150 dollars you know for one i'll just clean one at the time i think that'll work just as good Anyhow, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hey, y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all.